I now request the distinguished delegate of Hungary to make a statement. Thank you, Madam President. First of all, I congratulate Madam President on her assumption of presidency on the 71st session of General Assembly. Hungary, celebrating its 60th anniversary of 1956, 1956 Hungarian Revolution that marked the very first blow to the communist dictatorship, is profoundly happy to stand here before you all as a member state in the nucleus organization of the world that finds win-win solutions for global challenges concerning peace, security, social and economic development and human rights. In the contemporary setup with more advancements in information and communication technologies has given an aid to the growth of worldwide interconnectedness and this interest in result has enriched the social, economic, political and cultural relationship between countries and continents. Despite this fact, it has led to the propping up of an endless list of matters that poses a menace to the security issues of nation states and their respective citizens. In the accepted realities of the world, the problem of terrorism takes a prime position in disrupting the maintenance of global peace and security. Madam President, if the key factors or contributors to the growth of global terrorism like ISIS or Boko Haram is left free to thrive on its own, then there won't be any peace and stability, especially in the southern, southeastern neighborhood of Europe, in Middle East and North African region. And they will further radiate to the whole of the globe. The alarming rise of recent vagabonds, mainly from Iraq and Syria, has added on to the risk of the countries of the world. The flooding of Europe with thousands of migrants, mainly to escape from persecutions by terrorists and due to various other reasons, is creating a hand-to-hand -hand situation in Europe with migrant crisis and terrorism. Considering its people and their well-being, Hungary opposes the call of European Union in accepting a quota of refugees with the member states. This does not mean that Hungary's position is against the whole lot of humanity. But on contravene, it stands for the well-being of humanity when required and hence calls for the necessity to collectively help countries like Jordan, Lebanon, Turkey and Kurdish region of Iraq which are being involved in taking care of refugees. By aiding these countries, we will be actually lending a hand to the refugees to stay nearer to their homes and so when, an, when the exact time arrives, they can be back home. The international law, too, does not grant any right to the people to choose the country to live in. And hence, Hungary stands faithful to humanity and to the international law, which foresees the same. The unregulated migration eases terrorist organization to tread its way into countries and continents, and it will be effortless for them to give a chaotic society with panic-stricken citizens. We will be able to evict terrorism from the global scenario without leaving behind even a speck, only if the people of the world collectively fight against all root causes of the same. For that, we should not wait for the terrorists to strike and then to retaliate. Instead, we should condemn from giving a single chance for them to inflict a reign of terror. As weeds overgrown in a crop field are overthrown by plucking out the roots, the plague of terrorism needs to be uprooted uprooted within no time. Dear colleagues and Madam President, Hungary takes pride in being one among the 23 countries in the world who sends troops to fight against IS in Iraq, in Iraq and Syria. As an all-time aid to Iraqi soldiers, Hungary is a supplier of arms and ammunition and an active volunteer in the rehabilitation program of the homeless. Madam President, Hungary is a country which unwaveringly combats the advancement of instability in the world order, resulting in the rise of a threat to the very existence of the humanity. To sum up, Hungary will not tolerate or will not promote any type of terrorism or any means of the same, and hence will stand for the, for the sake of the people of the world. Thank you.